Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this small keychain charm. This is a leaf and it's called Tunisian leaf. So first I'm going to make the leaf and then join the keyring chain. So let's For get started. For this project I'm using Drops Paris cotton yarn and a 4mm hook. You'll also need a needle, keychain ring and a stitch marker. You can use any kind of yarn and any hook size as well. So let's get started. To start make a magic ring. So do it as you wish. And you'll have to do a chain one to secure the magic ring. And the first round is going to be 12 single crochet into the ring. So insert the hook, pull up a loop and go through both loops. So this is a single crochet and I'm going to make 11 more. Two, three, four, five. Once you have your 12 Six. single crochet, slip stitch to the first one, so insert your hook and slip stitch and now it's time to close the ring, so pull the short end and now it's closed. For the next round, what you have to do is Insert the hook into the back loop of the next stitch. So this is the next stitch. You're going to insert the hook into the back loop only. And pull up a loop. So get a loop. And now you have two loops. And now insert the hook into the next stitch. This time going through both loops. So go through both loops and pull up a loop. So you're going to have three loops, one, two and three. Now I'm going to go through the first two. So yarn over and go through first two loops. And you're going to have two more. And yarn over and go through these two. So that's done. And now what I'm going to do is put the stitch marker into this first one. Just to remember where I've started. And to continue the round now, I'm going to work into the side loops of these two stitches. So if you turn around, you can see these small loops. Let me use the needle. So this is the front. And if you turn a little bit, you will see there is this small loop. And this one so this is where I'm gonna work right now because I've gone through twice I will have two of this loop so if you remember I went through twice first for the uh, first two loops and then again for the second two so I'll have two loops let me insert the hook into that side small loop and pull up a loop so now I'm going to have two loops, now go into the next one and pull up another loop. So you're going to have three loops and now what I'm going to do is go into the next stitch which is this one. So this one is where you've already worked. So you have to go in the next one and insert the hook and pull up a loop. So you're going to have a total of four loops. And again you have to go through two loops at a time so yarn over and go through the first two loop then yarn over and go through the second two and then yarn over go through the last two so we did this time three times so you're gonna have three little loops so one two and three so this is what I'm going to work next one two and three and then into the next stitch so this is the pattern now 
we've already done twice one and two so this is the third time so insert into that small loop it's a little bit hard to get in and then pull up a loop now the next one pull up another loop so you're gonna have three and now into the next and you're gonna have four and after this four now I'm gonna insert into the next stitch not the one you've already worked but the next one and pull up another loop so this time I'm gonna have five so we started with three four and then five and again I'm gonna go through one and then the second time then the third time and the fourth so you'll have four little loops on the back and this is where I'm gonna work next so this is how you remember the counts so one two three and then the fourth time you will have four little loops and you have to go through these four so the next round is going to be again insert into the small one pull up a loop and then again so I've got now three four five and then into the next stitch and I'm gonna have total of six loops so each time you're increasing by one loop so go through the first two one two three four and five so I'm gonna have five loops now and this is already you can see the lift so now I'm into my fifth times you can count this is the first second third fourth and now the fifth so you have actually five these side loops and now I'm going to insert into the first one this is the one it's going to be a little bit tight so like this and pull up a loop one two three four and five and now into the next stitch and six so I have now seven loops so go through one two three four five and six so that's done so now it's easy to understand again into these loops you can see these loops clearly and I'm gonna do the same thing now continuing so I've already done one two three four five I'm gonna do two more times so insert one two three four five six and now into the next stitch which is this one and I'm gonna have uh, three six seven and eight loops so it's eight loops one two three four five six and seven so one two three four five six and now into the seven so I have seven loop and I'm into the last round one two 
three, four, five, six, and seven. And now into the next stitch. This one. And you're going to have nine loops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's done. So you can count how many you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and it's done. So take the stitch marker off chain one and you can cut the yarn and leave a long tail. So this much is enough. Pull, close it tightly. And now I'm going to secure it into the ring. Turn the work, pull this, uh, this one a little bit more. And insert into the needle and get it into this back loop here and leave this one here and now this end I'm going to weave it from here to this point and then I'm going to tie them together insert into the needle and then you have to weave it do it as you like So I've got the ends together and now I'm going to tie them together. One and two. And now insert the ends here and I'm going to just tie and secure it I've got a little bit messed up here Let me do it again now you can weave the in so you can make another knot and then weave these two in in here in the back so it won't be visible so this is how it looks so that's the end and I've made three different colors so that's it thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye